high school ball Friday was wild with every game impacted by the storm. Most postponed to the day, including our FNF game of the week between South Egan and Milford. First quarter, Romy Jane has his target. Just throw it up there. Cole Manning rises up in the back corner for the score. More from the Sabres. Check out the beautiful camera work from our photographer Kyle Jane on the throw. A great catch by Ryan Cavanaugh. So he can let 27 nothing at that point. 39 nothing was the final. More D2 action. John Stark and Hanover both looking to go 2 and 0. John Stark on offense. Tim Larry Wright takes it. He knows what to do. Runs right through the defense for six. More from the generals. Donnie White making sure he ended up on these highlights. He gets past that crowd, but then it's a track meet leaving everyone behind. Adds six more to the board for John Stark. Hanover made some big plays too though. First, Jeffrey Vidal rolling right. Sees his man open down the right sideline. Ryan O'Hearn goes in clean for the score. And more from the Bears. Jeffrey Vidal on the run now. Watching the ankles leaving. Defender scrambling. He finds the end zone. But John Stark had an answer. Some creative play calling here. Joey Dykstra on the reverse. He scores. John Stark wins it 30 to 22. Next, we have Winnicott it in Portsmouth Oyster River. The Clipper Cats not playing around in this one. They had it going on both sides of the ball. First on offense, Aiden Thomas finding Angus Moss up the field in stride, leading to a score. More from the Clipper Cat. Oh, Thomas knows this guy is down there. Nick Smith pulls it in with a defender all over him. How about some defense now? We'll see a forced fumble. Nick Smith scoops it up and he's out the other way. Smith gets another touchdown. The Clipper Cats go on to win in a shutout, 42-0. Franklin and Raymond facing off in D4 action. We start this highlight off with Raymond on offense. Trey Donahue in the shotgun, flings it to Colin McGovern. He makes the defender miss, runs through another. He scores. The Raymond defense showing out as well. Dennis Glidden. Reads it all the way he picks it off and he's gone. He takes it back for the pick six. Raymond takes it 46 to 18. All right, a wild inning between Laconia and Merrimack Valley. 30 seconds left in the game. The Sachems down 14 7. Logan Sanchez connects with Rowan Jones 14 13 now. They get ready for the extra point attempt, but it's a fake. Sanchez again on the throw. Keaton Beck on the catch. Laconia goes on to take it 15 14 thanks to DP Production Group for these highlights. And there were 17 total games today. For more final scores, go to our website, WMUR.com, or get them off our app, our mobile app as well.